What's up everyone, today's video is going to be about the new Dragon Ball game Budokai and if it's worth buying. The game is currently worth 125 Robux and to get started let me tell you about the game. Budokai is a Dragon Ball game that has permadeath mechanics. You have three lives and each time a player grips you, you lose a life. And the overall goal of the game is to be the strongest or have a high BP. And BP stands for battle power, which is pretty much your power level. And I don't know if you guys have ever played the game Xeno Online, but Budokai is pretty much the polished version of the Xeno Online. The games are pretty much exactly the same, um, but I will say Budokai does look more visually appealing. And like I said, the game was more polished. Um, I think there's just less bugs. The combat is smoother. Um, just some changes are just a little bit easier to get into the game than it was for Xeno Online. And without saying, if you did enjoy Xeno Online, then you will definitely also enjoy this game. Um, the main things that you do in Budokai is complete quests to earn money, to buy skills, items, and gear for training. There is a lot of grinding in this game, and this game is pretty repetitive, not gonna lie to you. Um, so pretty much if you're looking for a game that you can grind all day with your friends, and you can also flex your strength to your friends and other players that you encounter, then you will enjoy this game, but if you aren't looking for a grind um, and you don't really like to grind for a long time, this game probably isn't for you. Um, one other thing about the game is um, it also doesn't have that much content. Like, yes, there are quests and some quests are different. And there are bosses that occasionally spawn on different planets, but there aren't really like any events or various types of content to do. So if like various content and stuff like that is a requirement that you have when you play games, then if I were you, I would just wait a few main updates and then come back to this game and it'll probably be something that you're looking for. Um, but for me personally, I am going to continue playing this game um, just because the development team does seem dedicated to the game and they do seem like they want to create something unique and offer the player more. Um, and if you ever did play Xeno Online, the main reason Xeno Online died was due to that development team not being serious with the game, not updating the game. And it seems like that's just pretty much the complete opposite of what this development team wants to do. They actually want to have content in the game. They actually want to build up the game. Um, but yeah, so I personally do enjoy the game. I just think there are some tedious things in the game. Like sometimes when you fly, it just feels like it takes forever to get to where you need to be. And, you know, just small things like that. But overall, the game is pretty fun. It's fun to play with friends. And I am going to continue playing the game. And I do look forward to see what the game does have to offer in the future um, with new forms and different things like that. Um, but I think that that's pretty much it. But if you guys did enjoy the video, I hope you like and subscribe. And if you guys would like me to, I can go ahead and do a guide on the game or maybe just show like some of the forms or races or something like that. But that's something you guys would like to see then please comment down below and i appreciate you guys for watching the video